Welcome to Fin PL classes. In this session, we'll be seeing about valuing bond with half yearly or semi annual interest. So, what we'll be doing is that we know the symbols I, which is nothing but the annual interest, right? This has to be converted into uh, half year interest or semi annual interest. So this will be divided by two. Similar way we have the N, which is nothing but the maturity period. This can be multiplied into two. Similar way uh, we have the required rate of return, which is R, right? So this can be divided by two. R divided by two. So the annual or the yearly can be converted into half yearly or semi annually. Let us have a simple example of that. Suppose we have the face value of a bond, say rupees 1000, then a coupon rate, we have a coupon rate, coupon rate, say 10% per annum. Then we have the required rate of return, say 12%, right? And it means that uh, it is redeemable, okay? The bond is redeemable after two years. Suppose the bond is redeemable after two years, right? And the interest is, the interest is, paid semi-annually if interest is paid semi-annually what will be the value of bond so what will be the value of bond so we will be substituting the same uh, equation that earlier we have seen right so we have the calculation of value of the value of the bond uh, which is nothing but the value of the bond will nothing but the interest rate for the first year okay will be divided by 2 divide by 1 plus the required rate of return will be divided by 2 for the first year then plus for interest rate for the second year which is divided by 2 divide by 1 plus the required rate of return divided by 2 for the second year in similar way uh, we'll be calculating it for the n number of years interest rate for the n years divided by 2 divided by uh, 1 plus r divided by 2 into 2 into n similar way the maturity value the mv that will be repaid back by the issuer to the bond holder uh, and the maturity of the bond uh, 1 plus r divided by 2 uh, power 2 into n so this is the typical equation that we will be substituting <clears throat> so let us uh, calculate this one so here we have the r which is 12 percent then the coupon rate nothing but the coupon payment that we will be getting right so here the annual interest rate just nothing but uh, you have the i the annual interest rate which is given is nothing but 10 percent uh, this will be divided by 2 10 percent divided by 2 is nothing but 5 percent this can be written as 0 0.05 right so the coupon payment we have is nothing but 5 percent into the face value of the bond which is nothing but thousand so we'll be getting rupees 50 as the coupon payment similar way we have the required rate of return which is r the required rate of return is given as 12 percent right this, this will be divided by 2 uh, for to convert this into semi annually we'll be getting 6 percent this can be written as 0 0.06 similar way we have the n which is the maturity period so the maturity period they have given is uh, which is redeemable after two years so maturity period is two years so n will be two and it should be 
the interest should be paid semi annually or half yearly so we'll be multiplying it by 2 so 2 into 2 n will be 4 right so we have coupon nothing but 50 then you have the required rate of return is nothing but 0 0.06 then you have the n the maturity period nothing but 4 for half yearly or semi annually so we'll be substituting this value into the equation the value of the bond is nothing but uh, for first year the coupon payment will remain the same rupees 50 divided by 1 plus the required rate of return is nothing but 0 0.06 so 1.06 whole power 1 plus rupees 50 divided by for the second year 1.06 whole square plus rupees 50 divided by uh, 1.06 whole cube plus uh, rupees 50 divided by 1.06 whole power 4 then the uh, maturity value is nothing but the principal amount which will, which will be uh, repaid back by the issuer to the bondholder at the end of the uh, period right so 1.06 whole power 4 so this can be uh, written in the table format also that will uh, become e very easy for us to uh, calculate by uh, multiplying the present value interest factor so we have the year we have the uh, cash flow then we have the uh, present value interest factor uh, which is at a six percent which is nothing but your required rate of return then we have the uh, pvcf nothing but the present value cash flow right so the year we have four years right so that is half yearly right so one two three four right then we have the cash flow for the first year 50 50 50 and at the end of the fourth year we will be getting the interest payment back and the principal payment back which is nothing but the maturity value that is rupees thousand so now we will be calculating the uh, present value interest factor at six percent similar way the same thing we will be getting into the uh, ba2 plus calculator right so let us get into the uh, ba2 plus calculator and we will be calculating the uh, interest value right so i'll be clearing the uh, screen over here now uh, we have the n for first year and the interest rate that we have the required rate of return is nothing but the six percent so six percent so that will be the uh, required rate of return and we'll be calculating the uh, present value interest factor for one rupee so one minus then fv then we'll be computing the uh, present value so this will be your uh, present value interest factor for the first year which is nothing but 0 0.943 similar way for second year we'll be calculating 2 then n will be fed as uh, 2 then you have the interest rate the required rate of return is nothing but 6 then we'll be feeding 1 negative into future value and we'll be computing the present value factor so which will be getting 0 0.890 right now as i have calculated with the help of the calculator i'll be substituting the uh, value into that right so first year 0 0.943 then second year you have second year uh, you have 0. Point. okay i have calculated the uh, present value interest factor for so i have calculated the present value interest factor for uh, first year second year third year and fourth year for the ba2 with the help of the ba2 calculator 
then I will be multiplying the cash flow along with the present value interest factor uh, that is at 6%. So 15 to <clears throat> 0 0.943, uh, we will be getting <clears throat> 47, 47 .15. So we'll be getting 47.15. Then I'll be multiplying 50 into 0 0.890. I'm getting 44.50. Then I'll be multiplying 50 into 0 0.840. I'll be getting 42. Then here we have uh, here we have to calculate multiply into 1050 into 0 0.790 because we will be getting the interest uh, rate at the end of the year the maturity period and the thousand is the principal amount which we are getting uh, repaid by the issuer so 1050 into 0 0.792 so we'll be getting 831.60 831.60 so by adding the all the uh, present value cash flows uh, will be cal will be getting the uh, value of the bond so i'll be adding it 47.15 plus 44.50 plus 42 plus 831.60 so i'm getting 965 965.25 so this is the uh, value of the bond okay so this is the value of the bond for semi annual so this is the value uh, value of the bond for semi annual so in next session we'll be seeing uh, about the uh, variations of the bond and the interest rate